Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different than my other videos. I'm actually heading out to a job site. I'm going to be installing some cabinet hardware on uh, some kitchen cabinets. And so I've got a couple little tips and things about that, but I actually uh, just picked up a new jig for drilling hardware from Craig. And I uh, thought I'd do a little unboxing and kind of review and thoughts on that after I've used it and also kind of show the way I would do it otherwise without that jig. Um, so we'll head on over there and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm back here on the job. This job is a job um, where it's been a total remodel for the customer and it's been going on for quite a while. When I got here, I noticed that the, the four foot stove wasn't quite fitting in the opening and the, the opening's where it needs to be, uh, but the cabinet's a little out of square. These are box cabinets, uh, so at the bottom it's a little tight. So I'm gonna take care of that and then we're gonna get to the cabinet hardware. Okay, I got that all done. Uh, got that oven slid in place, so I know the, the owner will be able to get that in place where it needs to be. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get this hardware on. I'll kind of show you how I used to do it, the way I'd make a template or a jig, and then I'm gonna try out this uh, Craig jig, so we'll... Okay, this is the way I'd handle it in the past. I would go ahead and take a piece of plywood like this, and I would cut it um, square. You need a square piece of plywood. And a little strip that just kind of catches on the edge of the door and the drawers depending on what I'm doing this here had some really big file type drawers so that's why the holes are so large and so far down from the upper edge these would be probably more like in a spot like that um, so what I would do is I take whatever my hardware is depending on where I want to place it for drawers I mark the center I would center this for drawer pulls on here something like that make it straight i would drill my holes and then i'd use that as a template and so that would be used somewhere like this here on the drawer face again the way that would work would be i would take the piece kind of catch it on the drawer here i'd have my holes pre-drilled i would use that as a template only problem I have with this technique is that I basically have to make a new one of those every time I do it. So I don't want to do that. Okay, so I got the, the jig out of the box and it's not assembled. I've got some parts and pieces here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get that assembled. Okay, so after a couple of uh, doors here, it seems to be working good. One thing I did realize is that uh, I really should have the Craig clamps to clamp these on. I'm gonna, the big uh, trigger clamp just was awkward, was in the way. I'm gonna try a couple of smaller ones, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so that's working like that with the little trigger clamps. Um, I'll get through this job with that, but I think I'll bring my other Craig clamp on the next one and uh, it'll make that a lot easier. Okay, I got those all on and so that's a wrap on that one. Okay, so I decided to add on another little section here. Uh, it's a day later, and uh, it's another project where a couple loose ends. I've got to put some cabinet hardware in, and I'll see if the Craig is going to work for that. Setting over there now, and I'll see you on the site. Well, as soon as I got to the job and I saw the hardware, I could tell the Craig jig wasn't going to work. So I measured the drawer so I knew where to place my marks on my uh, created jig that I made. Went ahead and got those marks on there right where the hardware is going to need to be. And I got those holes drilled. And so it's uh, good, ready to go. So now I'm finding the center point on the uh, drawer face. Okay, we're just going to pretend this random piece of plywood is a drawer front. And so on the top of the drawer, I marked a center and I just marked it with a straight line, just like that. And then I had the top of my jig marked with the straight line that 
carries through as my center line. So I place the top of the jig right on the drawer on the center line. And then that gives me a centered hardware on the drawer front. Of course, these holes are drilled to whatever height they need to be uh, for the guide, but, and that's how I use that. I generally don't need to use a clamp or anything. Just kind of hold it on, drill the holes, and we're good to go. So that is my cabin hardware solution. The Craig is fine, except <clears throat> you can see in two sets of hardware here, I wouldn't have been able to use it on either one of these. So if it's only small four inch hardware or knobs, it'd be a good solution. But I guess a lot of the customers we're dealing with right now are using bigger uh, cabinet hardware. So it's a no go for that. I think again, uh, if I have regular size hardware, it'd be great. And uh, as long as the drawers aren't too big or too deep, I guess there's always some sort of trade-off on these things. So, all right, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching.